Just got a package. Let's try it again. Hey, we are back. I said I wasn't going to spend no more money on the old truck, but I hate it. I mean, even though it's a junkyard truck, just we bought for parts. I hate to not see. Like Clayroy, Tater. So we're going to stick this dizzy in. See what happens. I'm making a YouTube video. Making a YouTube video right now. We're going to. Yeah, what's up? Um, what's up with it's you? an 80. What is this? 88, 89. And we bought it for the slip yoke in the drive shaft. But uh, we done turned it over on, you see on a previous video, we tried to crank it, then we discovered it didn't have a distributor. Said we we're gonna spend more money, but then we did anyway. Just gotta find out. So here we go. When I got the dizzy and we're gonna get the number one up by taking the plug out, putting the finger over the hole. That was it there. That's about right there. All right, now what we're going to do is see where that rotor's pointing. We're going to put number one there and then wire it all the way down. Got right. her installed and we got the wires wired up. One, five, three, six, two, four. What makes the world go around. Now we're going to turn the switch on in there and we're going to bump this solenoid out. Solenoid's bad. Let's see what happens. Give me just a second because my bone phone is about to die. Switch on. Here we go. All right. I think it was out of gas, so we went to take the cap off, and uh, the wasp just kind of tore us up. So we had to give them a little shot of that black flag. Black flag, thanks for the sponsor. All right, let's try it again. Let's for the fuel pump. Hit it. Do it again. That sounds low on gas. Let's put some in it. Right, while they go in some gas, we're going to pull this. Breather off his throttle body as we have to. You can shoot a swallow inside there and cheat. We're going to cheat before we put gas in it. Let's see what happens with that. Here we go. <laughs> Stop all right we never could get her to hit i mean we probably could have we kept beating on but the compression is so low in this old ford that uh if it did run it's not going to run well and then somebody had robbed the radiator off of it, so we'd have to put a radiator on it and it's a junkyard F-150. The body, from 1 to 10, the body's like a 5. Every panel on it's bent. And this part's always hard because I hate taking anything. I hate, I hate crushing anything. That's why I had 55 sitting there waiting to have something done. But we're going we're gonna to keep the motor transmission chassis. We'll eventually build that motor. Um, but what we're going to do... Since we, we need some parts off of it, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire interior part and we're going to list it for sale on eBay because somebody has got a truck and they're needing these parts for it. So worst case, maybe we'll, we're at least keeping another old Ford alive somewhere. And so if you see anything on here you might need, holler at me. But we're going to take them all apart, get them put on eBay like stuff like this. You can't. You can't find these eight pillar posts. And these are in excellent shape. The dash is in excellent shape. We're going to take it apart. Uh, that door panel is shot, but this one is, door panel is great. Um, so, kind of sad. I wish we could have fired up and ran it. Guaranteed the transmission is good. These C6s that were hooked to these six cylinders and small blocks, you, you about couldn't kill them. So, we'll have it left over for a, something else but what we, we bought it for that drive shaft we needed the drive shaft we need a slip yoke out of it 
And that's, makes me sick to just take it apart. I paid notes on one of these when I was a kid. Mine was a 306 with a five speed. I love that truck. This is a 300 with a C6 automatic. But, and the interior is, the interior is the best part of it. They took care of it. Sign off of the junkyard F 150 and we'll start um, salvaging some parts, maybe keep something else alive. Thanks for watching.